Next. Is that um, it? Is that it? That would be it. Ow! What are you, a news reporter? Yes, it's time for the 6 o'clock news with C7 Viper, reporting live from the patch room. Hello there. I know that you guys are not watching this right away because you're probably hurrying to try and comment. So I'm going to let you comment real quick. All right, yep, you hit comment. I'm gonna check those comments in a little bit. Hashtag Snacktical, hashtag Syrup Gun Gang, all that. So now, this is the giveaway video for, no, I don't even know what it's for anymore. We're just giving stuff away. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do giveaways for now on, just whenever I feel like it. No milestone achieved. Let's just do giveaways, guys. Also happy 13 years on YouTube. I mean, I guess. My 13th year anniversary has just passed. It was like November 27th, I believe. That means I've been on this platform making airsoft videos for 13 years, and I have consistently made videos that entire time. I know most of you are here from the past couple months, some of you longer. Whether you're new or old, thank you for being here. And now, you're all eligible for these giveaways. But first, I think we're gonna do like a Q and A because I asked you guys a while ago, ask me some questions and I'll shoot some answers. That's the Q and A part. She's gonna ask me questions. I haven't looked at these papers and I'm just gonna shoot some fast answers at you. First, what's the best thing you've gotten from a Candyman trade? Oh man, uh, hand me that. <laughs> the, no. Oh my god! That was literally the thing you're supposed to pick up and you threw it? Oh, look what she broke. Look what she just broke. None it's on video. I didn't do anything. No, it's not. Nobody saw it. Exactly. She picked it up, literally picked it up and went and slammed it. And she started spitting on it and laughing because she's jealous of this cool, beautiful AK that I got in a trade at Rev. Usually every year I get between two and four guns. People trade me full on, this is like a working AEG, and it's a post-apocalyptic themed AK. Uh, I got it from my friend Drew, what's up Drew? Also, I have that 90s themed sniper. So those are two of my more memorable items that I have traded for. Can you just set it down gently? We don't need another incident. This is why we can't have nice things. Noah asked, what's your favorite gun that you own? <sighs> so a little fun fact about me is I have a hard time picking a favorite anything. Uh, like a favorite food, a favorite song, a favorite band, and now like a favorite airsoft gun. I'm sure a lot of you expect me to say Chris Vector, but I don't have an AEG Vector. I really like the Marui AA-12 because it's fun to pull that out in a game and see everyone's face like they, they know, uh-oh, it's on. Next up. Dane Self asked, well, what was your first airsoft gun? Tommy Persico. Names are tough. What was your very first airsoft gun and do you still have it? My first ever airsoft gun by definition was when I was like probably 10 or 11 and my dad got me this really tiny mini MP5 that took AA batteries and it was gravity fed and you poured the BBs in through the rear sight and you pull trigger and on full auto it would go ear, ear and that was full auto. That was my first ever airsoft gun and from there I thought that was cool so I saved up all my allowance and I bought a spring m4 on eBay for like way too much money it was like $60 and that broke and then I found Shorty USA and so my first real airsoft gun that I bought from Shorty USA was a UHC Super 9 sniper rifle and I thought I was king of the airsoft field because I had a real sniper. But Do you still have any of those? That broke after like two years of hard use. Like I used the heck out of that. Then I went and bought another one from Shorty USA and I still have that one and it still works. <laughs> that is a long story. Yeah. A lot of these are going to be long stories, guys. Why don't you ask something easy? These are easy. <laughs> oh man. Just talk a lot. <sighs> Isna also asked about your first gun. Well, refer to the last answer. But they would also like to know your dream airsoft gun. Dream airsoft gun? There's a Chris Vector on Evic right now that is $5,000 and it's like six feet long. It's let's, not happening. Let's make it happen. It's never happening. Guys, comment, make it happen. Somehow. Tag Evic, tell them to send it to me. I don't know, make it happen. That's the one I want. I'll use it in every gameplay. I'll go to an op with it. 
It's like an SBR Chris Vector, and it's nine million feet long. We're doing it. If it's bigger than me, you can't have it. That's what she said. I'm gonna save up every penny from my allowance. What motivated you to enter the field of airsoft? Oh geez, to enter the field of airsoft? I never really entered the field. The field was built around me because when I started airsoft, it was like nothing. It was not what it is today. Like me and two friends in my backyard and then we would do some bad stuff and sneak into construction sites. That's for another video I'm planning on addressing all the bad stuff I've done in airsoft in a video that's gonna be fun but you can't do that I'm definitely doing that it's gonna be like the top five worst things I've done in airsoft and they are interesting they want to hear that kind of well, stuff can't you get in, can't you get in trouble uh, it's statute of limitations or whatever. I got arrested for it. So no, not anymore. Can't get me twice. No, double jeopardy. Don't do bad stuff, kids. Stay in school. Drink your Ovaltine. So Airsoft kind of just formed around me and my friends as we were growing up. The community and the industry built up around me. My friend Ben, who invented Polar Star. My friend Jordan, who is Odin Innovations, he invented the Sidewinder. My friend Jeff opened Patriot Armory. Literally everyone I know in Airsoft that we grew up playing together as kids at that abandoned farm, we've all gone on to do something in the industry because we've all loved it so much. There must be something in the water around Delaware because a lot of things happen around here that have to do with Airsoft. And it's like the tiny little epicenter that nobody knows about. And then I made my YouTube for my friends to watch our videos from the farm and y'all started watching for some reason and then it just snowballed and it keeps snowballing. I never meant for this to be for anyone but me and my close friends, but I'm glad it did. More what is your favorite airsoft patch, airsoft gun, and dog asked by Peyton Lusk? Well, as of recently, I've said that this is my favorite patch because Paul 3D printed me this patch special. But before that, this one, has always been one of my favorites because this is the golden patch for our field. When I had patches made, the normal field patch was red. Pre-orders got the white one. You can only earn this patch by being invited for one, consistently showing positive sportsmanship and it's random. You can't buy this. You will randomly be rewarded this eventually after you make a mark on the community around here. This is one of my favorite things because it represents more than just a patch. It's it's more about positivity in the community, and that's what I've always wanted to foster. So we already have answered part of that, which is your favorite airsoft gun. Where's Newton? But they would like to know your favorite Open dog. dog. <laughs> Open door for the dog. Open door. Newton, come here. This is Newton, and he's my dog. We have three dogs. We have Newton, Norman, and Patches. Newton is for some reason just attached to me, and he's my buddy, and we do pretty much everything together. He helps me with the chickens, and he waits for me to come home from work and he sleeps with me at night on my side of the bed and he gets up with me in the morning and she hates it sometimes because he really just wants to be around me. No, he's a good boy though, right? You a good boy? Are you, ah, he got me! You wanna say hi to everybody on the internet? Look! So that was dog. You ask for dog, you get dog. There's two more and we'll introduce them at a later date. Next. I'd love a... Who is it? Hold on. Tag Protati P. Prototype. Prototype. Tag prototype. Leaving that one in. That's a shout out if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Protoddy P. Three. Protoddy. Protoddy. Why do you have to do P31. this? P31. Hey, Protoddy P31. Prototype. It's just three. It's one week it's ago. Prototype. It's Yeah, it is. One week ago. Protoddy P3. <laughs> you wanted to be on camera. Uh, Protati P3. It says prototype with a three. And she called it tag Protati. Protati P3. What do you say? Ass. I'd love a C7 Viper patch. How can I obtain one? Well. Yes, she can tackle this one. Merch will be available in January. January? That's crazy! It's going to be a patch that I designed. And if everyone likes that one, we're going to do another one. Another one. Sir Turd the Third also asked about patches. And same answer, January. They would also like to know how your life is going. Hopefully good. I'd say good. It's been crazy with this whirlwind of airsoft youtubery if that's a word it's definitely something that i look forward to every day is interacting with all you guys on instagram on youtube and i was looking into it today i'm going to make a discord and maybe patreon so that we can get even closer the rock 
game asked how many airsoft guns do you have so as of last collection video actually i thought it was 165 but i forgot to count doubles so it was closer to 175 in that video and then all the stuff i've unboxed since that time it's probably closer to like 250 maybe 300 I guns that. that's probably accurate next Chris C. also asked, how did you and your wife meet? The long story or the short story? I would prefer you give the short story to all my questions. Oh, uh, so the long story. I played Airsoft with her older brother, and then we added each other somehow on Facebook, and we never figured out who added who. And then we started talking on Facebook because of Rebecca Black. One day, I was being my silly self and posted on Facebook because it was Friday, and I posted the lyrics to Rebecca Black's song Friday. And she thought it was so funny, and I liked it and commented, and we started talking and that was that. Then I even one day reached out to Rebecca Black to tell her said story and I got a video of her wishing us a happy anniversary and she thought that story was cool. So shout out to Rebecca Black. She's actually really cool guys. Don't do the internet bullying. Next. Is that um, it? Is that it? That would be it. Ow! She hit me. The moment they've all been waiting for as they've all just skipped right past all of this. Yeah. So for those of you who didn't pay attention to any of that, Here's the giveaway. How about this? Everyone seemed to really like this when I unboxed it. So, I'm going to give this away. This is a CAA Airsoft Division M4. It is all metal. So this Airsoft gun is a value of 215 US dollars. So... Ooh, ah, uh, it's going to be yours. Huh. Oh, wait. You oh, this is the, to mention. Oh, this is the Snacktical gun. This is the Snacktical airsoft gun. It's got the actual Snacktical little compartment where you can keep Jolly Ranchers or Tootsie Rolls. Or batteries, I know. So this is the Snacktical gun. Hashtag Snacktical, that's where that came from. So you're going to have a piece of C7 Viper history. So it's actually priceless. Maybe it'll come packed with snacks. Yeah, check it out when you get it. Because when it arrives, it's going to have something in there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pack it with snacks. This snacktical gun will have snacks in it. And I'm just gonna give it away to somebody random in the comments. So leave a comment. Now the only thing is you have to be subscribed to win anything. And we will check. Subscribe right now. Go up, click the little button that says subscribe. If you already did, the button should be gray. You have to be subscribed to win anything from me. Now I cannot send this to anyone under the age of 18 and there are some countries that won't allow me to send this and i don't want it to get confiscated by customs or lost so if you are in a country that is not allowed to receive this then i will make up a mystery box for you that does not require any airsoft guns but it'll be a lot of cool stuff i'll make it worth your while but if you win you're getting something i know a lot of people in the last giveaway were like but what about my country what about international uh, i'm gonna include you because doesn't matter where you live. We're teammates, and that's what teammates do. So I will make sure that you get something if you win. I wish everyone could win. I always say that. And maybe one day when we have enough subscriber base, I'm going to do a giveaway with like so many winners. I'm planning some huge stuff for the future. I might try to work with some airsoft retailers on that. If anyone want to work with me, reach out. Let me know. Uh, I know I always say that, but right now I'm not sponsored by anybody, so this is out of my wallet. I just do it for you guys. Boop, 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 boop. And for those of you that saw my community post, you're probably already way past that, but the first person who commented the term hashtag snacktical on this video won an airsoft swag pack by me, which will include patches, maybe some stickers, maybe some little things from other unboxings, but you're going to be getting something. And that can be sent pretty much anywhere. So it doesn't matter who wins that. I'm going to send it to wherever. But we're way far into this video. That's already over. Sorry. That was just for those of you that follow pretty much everything I'm on. I posted that on the community tab of YouTube. But sometimes I post little hints like that on Instagram. I'm going to try and start using Twitter, Facebook, Discord. I'm going to make a Discord and maybe Patreon. If you guys want more chances at more stuff, follow me on everything. But you have to subscribe to this channel to win any of it. Also follow me. If you can find me. <laughs> One person already did. So she made a social media for Airsoft and has done nothing with it. So if you can find it, follow her, and then we can force her to post things. It's the next step in the evolution of getting her to play Airsoft. I have this SEMA. 
HD mod M4. Wait, I want that. Do you? No. <laughs> oh. Let's see if this is the one that's going to get you to play. I'm sure nobody here would be as sad. Ooh. Doodle 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 doodle. Doodle duels. Apparently, hashtag doodle duels is a thing now. Hashtag doodle duels, guys. Add it to our hashtag list. We're going to have the weirdest hashtags on social media. Hashtag syrup gun gang. Hashtag snacktical. Hashtag doodle duels. Dual, 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 dual. Dual wielding. Dual, dual toned. Dual. Two tone. Dual, two it's tone. It's two, dual, two tone. Wait, dual no. wielding. Dual dark earth. Two tone. <laughs> dual dark <laughs> I'm going to stop one. Do you smell toast right now? Do you taste pennies? Is everything okay? Anyway, M4, key mod, it's SEMA, it's good. And I will add this to the giveaway if you guys can get us to 2,500 likes on this video. 2,500 likes and you'll get the second drawing. So that means two winners, two different M4s. Not one winner for two M4s. Two winners, second one, 2,500 likes on this video and we're making it happen. So go up there, click, wait, down there. Wait, where's the like button? Click the like button. Go down, click it. If you click it and then the next guy clicks it and then, then she clicks it and he clicks it and they click it, then everyone's going to click it and then we'll have 2,500 likes and I can give this one away. So that's it. Like it if we made you laugh because that's the goal. Like I said, you can only win any of this stuff if you're subscribed. So go subscribe. I guess that's all. I'm not allowed to hit the camera anymore apparently. No. Banned from camera hitting. Ha <laughs> I was just informed I didn't formally say goodbye, so goodbye. I'll see you guys later.